Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Well, it's a good day to be a Canon R7 shooter. So Sigma, if you haven't seen already, which you probably have, but Sigma has announced that they will be releasing a bunch of new lenses for Canon RF crop sensor bodies. Um, so I just wanted to come on today and talk about what that might mean um, as an R7 shooter and what I think that means for the RF mount going forward for full frame shooters, which I also am. Okay, so what lenses are gonna be released? So there's going to be um, some prime lenses. So that's gonna be a 16 millimeter 1.4 which is gonna give you around that sort of 27 millimeter, 28 millimeter sort of field of view feel um, on a crop sensor body. There's going to be a 23 millimeter 1.4, which is going to be giving you that sort of a 35 millimeter field of view on a crop sensor body like the R7. There's a 30 millimeter 1.4, which is gonna give you equivalent to that sort of 50 millimeter field of view and there's also a 56 millimeter 1.4 which is going to give you uh, sort of that sort of 85 millimeter portrait field of view on a crop sensor body now in addition to the primes there's also going to be two zooms so there's going to be a 10 to 18 millimeter 2.8 um, zoom lens and there's also going to be an 18 to 50 millimeter 2.8 zoom lens Okay, so what does this mean if you're a Canon R7 shooter? Well, this means you finally, finally got options um, for wide angle um, zooms and also for high quality, affordable, or you will have for high quality, affordable um, options um, on your R7. So personally, I'm excited for lenses like the 16mm 1.4 and the 23mm 1.4. Those are really attractive to me. I'm also very interested in the 10 to 18mm 2.8 zoom. Um, I think that's going to be a great lens for vlogging. Um, if you just need a wider field of view on the R7, um, you no longer have to either get the new Canon um, lens or adapt an old EF lens, you're going to have another option for a high performing mirrorless native mount RF lens for the R7 and I think that that's going to be great. Now these lenses aren't per se new lenses, um, they've been available for both the Sony E mount and the Fuji X mount for quite a while now, um, but these will just basically be adapted so that um, the mount will be an RF mount. So it will be interesting to see how these lenses um, perform on the on the sensor of the R7, which is uh, renowned for being um, a great sensor, but also quite brutal on lenses. So it'll be interesting to, interesting to see how these lenses perform in terms of resolution and sharpness. And I'm um, really looking forward to seeing what other reviewers um, find out and also possibly maybe dipping my toe in <laughs> and testing out some of these lenses to myself. So for me myself, what I'm most interested in is like I said, probably like the 23 millimeter or one of the zooms. Um, uh, for me personally, I think the advantage is, is having a, a smaller lens that you can put on the R7, which is a smaller body and have that as like a travel, family, a holiday camera, just going out and about something that's easy to um, take with you, um, which the camera already is, but the real problem is having lenses that you can put on there. And I know that Canon has RF lenses that are smaller and natively fit on the um, R7, but to be honest, just none of them have really been very appealing to me, and I've sort of stuck with adapting EF lenses to my R7. So... On the downside, what does this mean for full frame users? Because I also have an R6 Mark II. Um, it's not such good news, I think. Um, and I'm a little bit concerned about what this means for the future of the mount. Um, hopefully, this is just the first step and Canon will allow Sigma and Tamron to release lenses for the um for the RF mount going forward, but um, 
I would have loved to have seen just any full frame lens be released. Um, I really hope that Canon isn't going to continue to hold back the mount um, from third-party developers because I think a lot of people are getting quite frustrated at this point with Canon and um, I mean Canon hasn't even released like an L series 24 or 35 in the RF mount and and I mean the R was released in what was 2018 so it's really been out since 2019 I mean gee we're, 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 get, we're getting really far down the road and I'm, I'm starting to question what Canon's doing <laughs> um, uh, as some of you might know I recently upgraded my full frame camera to the R6 Mark II. When I did that, I was seriously, con and I mean seriously considering going to Sony, but I just prefer Canon cameras. Um, but I can't even count the amount of people that I've talked to that were Canon shooters and have now switched to, to Sony. And uh, a big a big portion of the reason they say is because of the lens availability in Sony. It just can't cannot be beat. Um, and even with Fuji, you know, you have so many more options. I just, I don't know. I really hope Canon uh, makes some different decisions going forward, and I hope that this is a first step, and that um, we will see the lens opened up, and there'll be more announcements going through the year. So guys, so if you're an R7 shooter like me, this is good news. Um, there's no, there's, we're finally getting some love on the APS-C so, side of things because um, Canon's been pretty, pretty brutal with not uh, giving us too many lens options on the APS-C mount. But if you're a full frame user, not such good news. But there's hope. There's hope, guys. Okay. Okay, guys, so let me know your thoughts down below. Are you as excited as me as a Canon R7 shooter or if you're on another crop sensor Canon um, body? What's your thoughts? Which is going to be your, the lens that you might be looking at getting um, and why? Okay, and until I see you guys next time, 